Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of the coordinate plane, specifically how we can translate figures on the coordinate plane, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's start with a pretty simple figure. I'm just going to make a, an isosceles triangle, and I want to put it right kind of, not really centered around the origin, but at least covering the origin because we're going to translate this a few different ways and I want you to see how that works. So let's just go ahead and label these points A, B, and C. And so let's just say A is going to be negative 1, negative 1. It's down there in quadrant 3. B is 1, negative 1. It's quadrant 4. And then C is right there uh, with a 0, 3. It's right on that y-axis. All right, so when we are translating, we're just sliding. So we're sliding it, we're not flipping it, we're not rotating it, we're just sliding it in certain directions. So what happens if I want to slide it up into this direction? Well, there's two different ways I can do it. I can give you directions. I can say, move the coordinates, uh, I can say to the right, four, and I can say, let's say up four. So let's say we go right four and up four. We're going to move all the coordinates. Or what I can do is I can say we're going to take our x and our y, and we're going to translate it. If I go right four, that means I'm moving to the right on my x-axis. So I'm going to add four to the x-coordinate. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my y-coordinate. I'm going to move it uh, plus four. So I can do it with words here right, 4 and up 4, or I can just use this notation right here. So let's see, so A, A prime is going to be this negative 1 and then plus 4, right? Then I've got negative 1 plus 4. So that is going to translate to negative 1 plus 4 is negative, let's see, that's going to be positive 3, and that's going to be positive 3. So you have to do a little bit of math with the x and y coordinates. So positive 3, positive 3, that gets me right there. That's going to be my a prime. So b prime is going to be that 1 plus 4, negative 1 plus 4. And so that is going to be 5, y of 3. So it's going to be 5, y of 3 right there. There's my b prime. And then my C prime is going to be 0 plus 4. And then 3 plus 4, that's pretty easy. That's going to be 4, 7. So there's my 4, there's my 7, and there's my C prime. So that's how we slide it up there. We just do a little addition or subtraction based on the rule. Now let's say I want to do another one. All right, I want to slide it. I just want to slide it down. Uh, down, let's call it down 5. And that's it. All right, I just want to slide it straight down. Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my x and my y. I'm actually going to save my x. If I'm sliding it straight down, I haven't moved it to the left or the right. I'm just going to do y minus 5. Right? So let's do a, I'm going to start from the beginning again, a double prime, right? So that's going to be my x, which is negative 1, and then that's going to be negative 1 minus 5. So that's going to turn into negative 1, negative 6, right? So I'm just going to slide it down here. a is going to be negative 1, negative 6, a double prime. So b double prime, which started as 1, Negative 1, and i got to take the 5 away. So that's going to be 1, negative 6 for my B double prime. And then my C double prime, it was 0, 3. I'm going to stay on that y-axis, but I'm going to take away 5. So now that's going to be 0, take away 5. That's going to be 0, negative 2. And there's my C double prime. And... We could just keep sliding around by adding and subtracting to the x and y coordinates, but that's how you translate on a coordinate plane.